Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. We all are familiar with computer. But do you know the different parts inside a computer such as motherboard, RAM, hard drive etc? In this video, we will learn about the different parts inside the computer. We all know that monitor displays the program run on the computer. So this make it the main output device. And we use keyboard and mouse to give inputs to the computer. So that makes it the main input devices. So in this video, we are going to learn about the other important parts of the computer. First, let's look at this case. Even though we call it as the CPU, it is actually a case that holds the processor and the other components of the computer. We also call it as the computer cabinet. Now let's take a look inside it. For most computers, the side panel can be removed like this. It may have some screws. You can now see the different parts inside the computer. The main function of the cabinet is to provide an enclosure for all components stored inside it. Let's look at the motherboard. This is the component that connects other parts inside the computer. It is a circuit board with many slots and ports. The motherboard is the most important part because without it, all the other components will not have a place to fit into. All ports which we use to connect parts such as the monitor, keyboard and mouse are actually directly connected to the motherboard. The type of motherboard that inside your computer determines how advanced the other parts can be. Now let's understand some common terms we use for the parts inside the computer. CPU or central processing unit is the processor of the computer. RAM or random access memory is the memory of the computer. Hard drive is the storage and graphic card commonly known as GPU or graphics processing unit. CPU is often referred as the brain of the computer. It is directly connected to the motherboard. All tasks we do on a computer are processed inside the CPU. CPU are capable of doing multiple things at the same time. It reads large amount of data, quickly arrange it and perform massive calculations to run your programs. Even though it looks small, CPUs are very expensive. Some common examples of CPU includes Intel Core i3, i5, i7, etc. There is also CPUs from other companies like AMD called Ryzen 3, 5, 7 and so on. As the CPU is being used, it can get very hot. In order to keep it cool, we use a heat sink that draws away the heat and there is a fan on the top that blows the air away. Now let's talk about RAM. It holds the short-term information that can be accessed quickly. RAM looks like small thin sticks that are attached to the RAM slot in the motherboard. Every program that are running currently in the computer uses the RAM. When we turn off the computer, all the data stored in the RAM disappears. This is why we save our data in the hard drive. Hard drive is a place where we can store files as long as we want. All your files, pictures, movies and installed programs will be stored here. All data saved in the hard drive will stay there even when the computer is turned off. Hard drive is considerably slower than RAM but it can store large amount of data. Now let's look how hardware and RAM works together. When you run a program, the CPU identifies which part of the data are needed for the program to run. It pulls those data from the hard drive and stores them into the RAM. This is done so that the program runs quickly because RAM is faster than the hard drive. When you open a game or program, it shows as a loading screen because the data that composes the game is being loaded from the hard drive to the RAM. Finally, when you save the game, it gets saved into the hard drive so that you will not lose the data. The basic difference is that RAM allows you to run program and hardware allows you to have these programs installed 
and also allow you to have more data that these programs are using like pictures, videos, etc. Now let's look at the graphic card. Any task that you done on the computer get converted to zeros and one and the output will be shown to us in the display. Your motherboard will be able to convert the zeros and ones to image that you can view in the screen. But it is not powerful enough to show your high quality games and videos. This is where we use graphic card. Graphic card is actually a computer by itself which has the purpose of displaying the contents in the monitor. When you play a game with loads of 3D visuals, the CPU is responsible for creating that world using data from the RAM, which was actually loaded from the hard drive. But it is the graphic card that makes the 3D world looks like 3D based on where your character is standing inside the game. We also need graphic card for video editing and creating 3D designs. To keep power to all these components including keyboard mouse, we need power supply. The power supply is a part that connects directly to the power socket on the wall. Its purpose is to provide us electricity for all other components. This concludes the basic parts of the computer. There are also other parts like printer, webcam and other accessories which are not necessary for the normal work of a computer. Hope you will find the information useful. See you all in the next video. Till then, bye bye.